my friend Peter the glider pilot called me up he flies gliders um, and he said hey Brian I got a question for you I said what's that Peter he said uh, think you can do a slip and that's serious I said you're darn right I can and then I googled it um, and printed out the instructions right here so we got these um, see the thing is with uh, serious pilots like myself most of us you're gonna find her we're self-taught we didn't go through what a lot of Piper and Cessna pilots refer to as training uh, we don't need it um, sometimes you'll hear a serious pilot talk about back when he was training or something and you can assume he was probably used to be a Mooney pilot and worked his way up to the the more superior aircraft but we're really accepting of those people and we 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 like to to fly with them all right anyway I got the instructions that I printed off of uh, Google from the google.com about how to how to do a slip in the airplane and I think I can do this I'm gonna go up and give it a shot so uh, tag along let's go clear you have to open your door to yell clear otherwise you're just screaming at your passengers which is rude they didn't give us one of those little windows that's to keep the price of the planes down Okay, so I've got my uh, my instructions that I printed here off the uh, Google, and uh, it says so. What we want to do is we want to do a slip. There's a forward and a side slip. I don't I don't know how to fly sideways. We're just gonna do the forward slip. So it looks like if I read step one, we want to uh, do uh, right aileron. Uh, we want to turn our aileron into the wind. How am I supposed to know which way the wind is going? It's ridiculous. Uh, Houston Center, this is Sirius 251 Unicorn. Mayday, mayday, mayday. I need to know which way the wind's coming from. Uh, if you can help me with that. Clear an emergency for wind check. Yes. Also, it's Unicorn. No, I. Not Unicorn. I think, it, I think it's Unicorn. I'm pretty sure. I'm a pilot. Well, if you are a pilot, then you should know proper phraseology. You should know that the okay, you know what, alphabet ma is not open ma'am, ma'am. Okay, do me a favor. Look at your screen. Just look at your screen. Do you see a red line and with a circle? Okay. And there's a little white plane. That white plane, that's me, okay? So Radar if you can look at that and tell me... Walk VFR. Okay, obviously she's new. She's new. I'm not going to take it out on her. That's not her fault. Okay, so I got my wind direction. So what we're going to do is we need to turn the right wing down into the wind. And then we're going to want to step to apply top rudder. Rudder? Rudder? All right, well, there you go. Now you know a Cirrus can't be slipped. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Internet. Thanks, Google. Waste of ass gas. Waste of my time. Okay, so I talked to my friend Peter and told him about, about my problem, and he said I should try to use the, the brakes. Those are down here with your feet. Um, most of the time you just like that. But anyway, so he said give them a shot and see if that will work for me. And so I'm just going to go ahead and let's see if I press the whoa. All right, okay. All right, so turns out the, uh, the brakes actually work in the sky. That's amazing. So I'm going to hit my left brake. Whoa, you can see the nose point, And I'm going to hit my right brake. There it goes. Okay, that's incredible. I have no idea how that works. Okay, so it sounds like what we want to do is we want to use right aileron and left sky brake uh, to, to do the slip. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do the forward slip here. This is good for losing altitude or speed or something. It's really the only thing it's good for is passing a check ride. Am I right? Okay. So what we want to do is we want to uh, we want to bank and uh, here we're going to go ahead and uh, focus here on the uh, emitter. And uh, so here we go. We're going to dip our wing to the right. All right, there we go. That's probably enough. I'm a, <laughs> a little queasy. <laughs> Ooh, huh. All right, so we're holding that. And then at the same time, I want to hit the opposite sky break. Uh, oh, God. Okay. All right, that's too much. All right, so now I'm going to go down. I think I'm going to fall out of the sky. All right, so now we're going to go down. And I'm going to step on the other other. The left, left sky break, and he said we should see the ball move. Oh, God, that's the weirdest feeling. <laughs> oh, that's too much. Okay, so you, you, I'm going to be sick. You can see the balls way out of uh, center there, and then I'm still hold, holding the bank, still holding the bank. Oh, God. All right, I can't do it anymore. It's too uncomfortable. Oh. All right, now we're back to... Oh, my God, I almost just died. Oh, let me catch my breath. So that's, that's, that's a slip. That's a, whew. All right, so you're going to pass your check ride with that maneuver, kids. I got to land. And now when you're doing a slip maneuver, you want to make sure that you keep your speed up, because I was reading on the, uh, the internet, you can get into what's called like a VMC roll or something, and that's what happens is if you, uh, if you're uh, uncoordinated and you lose your, your critical engine. And uh, for us,
Lost the critical engines, that one right there up front. That's the one that we want to keep going uh, as much as possible. If that one goes out, we definitely, we're going to uh, spin it in. No one wants to do that. When you're filming an instructional uh, video in the sky, it's a good idea to keep your eyes looking all over the place because people are going to see this. So, I'm blind as a bat. I don't know what I'm doing. Not a clue. I'm just filming this because it's pretty. Look at that. Man, what a great day to fly. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that, wing on the other side too. They match. You want your airplane to be symmetrical at all times. That's a fact. Another thing that's really important, and no matter what aircraft you're flying in, um, under no circumstances should you ever try to slip an aircraft with the flaps in. Uh, if you do that, you're just asking for danger uh, and strife. Uh, and anyway, just to drive the point home, uh, Sirius actually put in this uh, slip with flaps button right here. But uh, look what happens when I click it. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. See? Yeah. The, also, the plane used to belong to uh, Dave. I haven't reprogrammed it yet. Uh, i got to get on that. But, yeah, so you don't want to do that. It's just a bad deal. Truth be known, you can slip this here. They uh, slip really, really well, but I'm not going to show you how to do that because I'm not a CFI. It's your instructor's job. So don't watch videos on the Internet and go try to do stuff. It's stupid. Hey everyone, this is a quick plug for my friend uh, Twin Engine Ted and his organization Cloud9 Rescue Flights. Um, I'm in no way affiliated with them, but they do really great work and I just wanted to, uh, to get the word out. So stop for just a minute and think about all the animals you love. Koalas, puppies, those little miniature deer with the, the tiny legs, um, flightless birds. What a screw job that was. Congratulations, the good news is you're a bird. The bad news is you lack the single defining characteristic that makes a bird a bird. Thank God for evolution. So when you take an animal to a shelter, like most of the time before you've even closed the door and gotten in your car, that animal's dead. Um, they, and it's not, sometimes they use fire or acid. Sometimes they'll take a small dog and then feed it to a bigger dog and then they kill the bigger dog. Unless there's a bigger dog. So what the Ted and the Cloud9 folks do is they, they take the animals from these shelters and they take them on plane rides. Because what? Puppy wouldn't want a window seat. So, no, seriously, they uh, save thousands and thousands of lives of animals by transporting them from uh, kill shelters to uh, their forever homes and other shelters where they can be uh, rescued. Uh, but they are funded based on donations uh, and gifts. So uh, anyway, uh, if you're able to give, go to cloud9rescueflights.org and donate. If you can't, send a link to somebody who can. But uh, I want to get the word out because they do really, really good work. They save lives of uh, thousands of animals, and we want to keep them going. So anyway, thanks. Keep up the great work, Kyle. Hey, my name's Brian, and um, my Peter called me up. My Peter called me up? No, my friend Peter called me up. I got a note on my hand that says, say something funny. They say if you get uh, too high, there's not a lot of oxygen. And so what Sirius has done is put in these things here, and you just turn it, and it just fills the plane with air. You can just feel it coming out. So no matter what altitude you're at, you can, you can just feel the plane filling up with air. It's awesome. More planes should do that. <laughs> Peter's last name is Von Treskow. It's an Apache term that means he who flies without thrust. It's an old Egyptian word. Uh, it means white floppy hat. He flies a glider. You get that? Truthfully, nobody knows what it means. So what they do is they take the animals for rides in airplanes because that's... Why would you want to ride in a plane if you're a dog or a cat? They got this twin engine thing. It's not just dogs and cats. They've transported alligators and ducks and... Um, think, of, think of an animal. They've probably transported it. My friend twin engine Ted Nugent... There's this uh, charity called Crowd9. It's, it's, it's not Crowd9. That's, that's not a crowd. That's, that'd be a real small crowd, wouldn't it? Peter's glider is nicknamed the Dragon, and uh, here he is now. Do you want to go see Pete's Dragon? That's stupid. That's not even close to funny.